If you're watching this and listening to me right now, then you have almost certainly survived the 2024 total solar eclipse. Can you believe that people actually thought terrible things would happen during that eclipse? What am I saying? If you've been watching this channel for any length of time, then you're almost certainly gonna believe that people think that. Well, one lady thinks it didn't even happen, and the whole thing was just a hologram. <laughs> Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tinfall Tuesday with me, Simon and Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. The recent total solar eclipse on April the 8th was fantastic. I sat and watched it with my kids on a live stream on YouTube and it certainly did not disappoint. I was lucky enough to witness one firsthand myself here in the UK in 1999 at the tender age of 16. Not really able to appreciate the wonder of it. Unfortunately, the next total solar eclipse here in the UK is not until 2090. However, a 90% eclipse is visible in 2026. But for some, the awe of the eclipse was not what it seemed. And one lady who runs a channel called Starkey Farmstead is claiming that it was nothing but holotech and CERN. Let's see what she has to say, shall we? Hello everyone, welcome back to Starkey Farmstead. My name is Samantha. And I want to talk to you about the possibility of the government, or even the military, or the shadow government, projecting a hologram during the great American eclipse. It's not just America that experienced the eclipse. Mexico and Canada were also in the path of totality. Well, it is a North American eclipse, to be fair, isn't it? I'll give you that one. And don't think I didn't hear you say that it was a hologram. Can't wait to hear your evidence for this. Okay, jumping right in. Why do I say this? Because you have absolutely no clue what's going on during an eclipse? Well, one, because technology is so much more advanced than we normal people realize. And here recently, a woman who is filled with the Holy Spirit that I trust very much made a comment that she's not sure she wants to watch the eclipse. She feels like in her spirit, something is going to be projected rather by sound, which we know can affect humans and animals because we're all in the animal kingdom, or they're gonna project a hologram. Right, so your friend who is filled with the Holy Spirit says that they, whoever they are, are gonna project a hologram where there's supposed to be an eclipse. Now that seems a little bit far-fetched, madam, I'm afraid. I recently brought to you what is going on with NASA today and the ships they're fixing to send up into the atmosphere, right? to basically see how communication, sound, light moves. This is very important, so. So you think NASA are sending up spaceships to study sound and communication? Okay. As I said earlier, any evidence for this or is it all just guesswork? Some of us can imagine <laughs> very well what this technology could be used for. She's talking here, of course, about hologrammatic tech. She just showed a video on her channel, on her video, showing us all how it's supposed to work. The thing is, we know how sophisticated holograms are now. No one's arguing that. But to say they used a hologram in place of an eclipse, an event which different people in different places saw differently, is quite simply preposterous. Think about the Book of Revelation, when it says that the entire world at one time We'll see the Antichrist die and rise back alive, right? And who is the Antichrist in this scenario? Well, there has to be technology innovated for all of that to happen. You guys think about my father. Some of you watch his channel, Papa Sammy and Ali Bug. We recently brought him a lawnmower that is AI, artificial intelligence. It is programmed to cut his yard. He goes on vacation, puts the lawnmower in the shop on a table to keep it safe so no one will steal it. And this thing, he turned it off, powered it off. It's not plugged in, it's not docked, nothing. Powered off on a table in a shop. 
he gets a text message while on vacation that says, help me. Oh my days, we've moved on to possess lawnmowers. I am three feet off the ground and I want to go home. Seems like a reasonable request for a lawnmower. It meant back to its docking port. It meant it turned itself back on and text him. He didn't program his phone number into the AI. He programmed it into, you know, the web page or the, the program so he could map his yard. Not entirely unreasonable to suggest that the uh, AI lawnmower is tied to his online account. In fact, I imagine that's mandatory. But this thing turned itself on, uh, got back on the web, found the phone number and sent him a text. Don't tell me some crazy things can't be done to confuse and convince people they're seeing something that isn't real. An AI lawnmower and an international event like an eclipse are two very different things. This isn't all, folks. So I know you've been watching a lot about holograms. Hang in there. There's only a minute more of that. We're going to move into the weather. We're going to move into CERN opening up portals. No! Listen to me. You need this whole video. Don't stop now. Push through. <laughs> Occupy this time. You really need to hear what they can do so you understand if something doesn't feel right in your spirit, doesn't line up with the Bible, that you can turn away from it and you will not be deceased. This, ugh, deceived. Excellent. What about those of us that don't follow the Bible? He said, I know it sounds far-fetched, Sam. I know people would probably think I'm crazy, but the Holy Spirit's just really warning me that maybe I shouldn't watch this eclipse now listen noticing that there are severe weather alerts all across the south of america and southern states and that that weather is going to move up right well we get weather patterns so that's not anything amazing no and an eclipse has very minimal effect on the weather and those effects are usually delayed but could God be disrupting their ability to broadcast something like that? Just think about it. What's that? World hunger? No, I'm not dealing with that right now. I need to stop these humans from messing around with the eclipse. Is that me? The eclipse? No, mate. I haven't got a clue where that's come from. Not a clue. If you saw my previous videos on CERN and the satellites, I'm sorry, the... Um, spaceships that NASA is going to be shooting into the sky today, right now, messing with the ionosphere, then you're going to understand a little more about the video clip I'm fixing to show you. NASA weren't messing with the ionosphere. They were studying the ionosphere during the eclipse. And why I say it is most definitely possible for our government to put a hologram that looks and feels you can feel it like it's real. You can feel it. A holographic eclipse. You can actually feel that, can you? I think that you may have a few holes in that theory, madam. The next thing I want to talk to you about is CERN, C-E-R-N, all right? They have already opened a portal. Here it is. She shows a video here about an event in 2007 where the magnetosphere opens up slightly and lets some solar wind pass through. This is a naturally occurring event which happens quite often and has nothing to do with CERN and actually happened a whole year before the Large Hadron Collider was even turned on. Now I'm going to show you a couple of things that I think are very important. July 5th, 2022, that's the date they opened up this and they show you the sun's rays and stuff. Look at the global warming. America had some of the hottest temperatures of that time ever recorded. Texas, Louisiana, look at that. Now I want to show you something. Where is this collider located? The Swiss Alps, right underneath them, right? Look what happened on July 5th to like July 7th of 2022. Huge ice caps breaking and falling, killing people. And what does the WEF, the UN, WHO, 
the United States government, what do they all tell you it is? Global warming. Well, it's definitely not the Large Hadron Collider, is it? Because it's been operating on and off since 2008, and it's only been getting warmer since then. Climate change. But is it? Is it actual climate change, or is it? You guys are jacking with our atmosphere. CERN doesn't jack with the atmosphere. It accelerates particles. And what are they teaching our children? That driving in a car or having cows is killing the earth when they're doing crap like this. Um, that's a diagram of how the Earth's magnetosphere interacts with the solar wind. That happens whether humans are on this planet or not. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Oh, I think we'll leave our friend here for today. She's really pushed the nonsense on this one, hasn't she? Well, that's it. We're all done and debunked for another one. Let me know in the comments what you think of her hologram theory there. Is it plausible or a load of nonsense? Let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. It is, of course, truly appreciated. And if you enjoyed it, then consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that thumbs up button and sharing as well if the feeling takes you. It would be massively appreciated, of course. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a cracking week. I'll see you all on Friday for the return of Level Earth Observer. I'll be back with a bang. See you then. <laughs>